Roger Federer suffered a shock defeat at the hands of Grigor Dimitrov in the quarterfinals at the U.S. Open. The 20-time Grand Slam winner had looked destined for a box office final against Rafael Nadal in what would have been the great rival's first meeting at Flushing Meadows. But Bulgarian Dimitrov tore up that script with a first-ever win over the Swiss, who needed a medical timeout and looked out of sorts throughout a five-set defeat. Dimitrov had not beaten Federer in any of their previous seven matches, and had taken only two sets off him. The majority of those defeats came when the Bulgarian was a constant in the top ten, peaking as high as world number three. And coming into New York he had slumped to a lowly 78. But all was clearly not well with Federer, who hit an unprecedented 60 unforced errors. He had been flexing his racket arm during the fourth set, and in a rare occurrence the 38-year-old took a lengthy break from court for treatment before the start of the decider. Dimitrov filled the time doing press-ups. Two breaks of the Federer serve later, Dimitrov was 4-0 up and in uncharted territory. A Federer hold to 15 momentarily stopped the bleeding, until Dimitrov responded in kind. Federer made Dimitrov serve out the match, and the 28-year-old did so to love to seal the biggest win of his career, 3-6-6-4-3-6-6-4-6-2. It's been a while since I've been on this court so I was nervous in the first set and he served really well, said Dimitrov. I think after the second set I felt I was getting a good stride on my shots. We had a really long game in the fourth set and I wanted to make him stay on court for as long as possible. For sure he was not at his best at the end. It's the best of five and anything can happen. With Novak Djokovic out Federer knew he had possibly the best chance he will get to win major title number 21. Little wonder, then, that he cut a disconsolate figure afterwards, admitting his back was playing up. I just feel low, he said. Just disappointed it's over because I did feel like I was actually playing really well after a couple of rocky starts. It's just a missed opportunity to some extent that you're in the lead, you can get through, you have two days off after. It was looking good. In the last four Dimitrov will face Daniel Medvedev, who continued to wind up the US Open crowd after knocking out Stan Warinka to reach his first Grand Slam semi. In the women's singles Johanna Conta's bid for US Open glory was ended in the quarterfinals by Elena Svitolina. Conta was attempting to become the first British woman to reach the semi-finals at Flushing Meadows since Joe Dre in 1983. But she fell short against a familiar foe, fifth seed Zvitalina extending her 100% record against Conta to five matches, 6-4 6-4 in an hour and 40 minutes. I do feel that was the probably the best I felt her play against me. She played so well, to be honest said Kanta. Actually, I didn't play badly at all. I actually felt like I was doing a lot of good things out there, a lot of the right things. She just made me play that extra ball. It's frustrating. You know, I would have loved to have come through that and come through a challenge like her, but I guess it will just have to be next time. I definitely think it's just the more opportunities I give myself like this the more chances I have of going a step further and even more steps further. I don't have any regrets or any hindsight in what I did before or during the match. I think I did a lot of good things. I think I can definitely still get better and better, especially against an opponent like her. I can take a lot of good things from this still. Zvitalina will now play Serena Williams for a place in the final after the six-time winner blew away China's Wang Kiang 6-1-6-0.